Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 61 of Skyrim. Alright, when we left off, it was a really action-packed episode, but uh, now we're going to tone it down a little bit and bring these guys, who just now caught up, <laughs> to into the Karth Spire to find their uh, little Skyhaven temple or whatever temple is. I don't quite recall. <laughs> eh. It's one of those things, you know? Now, whoop. I guess we still have a few enemies in here. Don't necessarily need Night Eye for this. Where are you? There we go. There's that one now. Whoopsie! Sorry, I was burned. That's a prior heart. So he's going to be pretty good with spells. He's going to pretty much take everything I can throw at him. Except this sword, which is going to be going through him. <laughs> well, that was quick. That was just a regular force horn. The Briar Hearts are an interesting character in here. So take that. Literally rip the heart right out of him. <laughs> there we go. Take this guy. Oh, he had a garnet and venison. Who'd have thunk? I'll take some of that gold. Oh, take that for sure. Oh, that I can sell. That's always stuff you can sell. It's always good. Ugh. Salmon meat. It doesn't amount to much. Ooh. When you're using it, it only gives, like, what? Plus, like, I don't know. <laughs> Recovers 10 health, I think. When you cook it. Yeah, fuck that. Alright, and... Ah, this puzzle. These pillars must have something to do with it. Oh, yes. yes. These are Akaviri symbols. Here, let's see. Symbol for king, warrior. Of course, the symbol for dragon. That's the one that appears. This one. Sort of arrow shape pointing down to the bottom. Yeah, that one there. So, swap this. Yes, that's it. The symbol on the middle pillar. There we go. Maybe you did. You weren't. Let's see what those old blades look like. S. Burns' voice actor seemed different there, because that did not sound right coming out of his mouth. The symbol in the middle pillar. That didn't sound right. It sounded like someone forced themselves to sound like him. And this one I know. You just walk on the Dragonborn symbols to pass through. Aha! Uh -huh. Now they start doing that. Used to be sometimes they did that just to... All of them did that just to mess with you. But it seems only some of them need to do that. To make the chain. There we go. And now... I can walk along all of them. On you guys, let's go! Woo! <laughs> this is going to be the slow part of the episode. When I said it was going to slow down, I meant it. We go through here. Are they coming? Seem to be stuck. Oh, I was right. It was Skyhaven Temple. Alright. Let's see what's in this chest. Take that. Ooh! Ooh, we're going to need this when we upgrade. Ooh, we're gonna need this. I'm gonna take it. There we go. Now we don't have to spend as much ebony on it. Awesome. And it's Quicksilver. Fuck yeah. I didn't even know that that ore vein was there. We'll just mine this while we're waiting for them. <laughs> you know, get some of our good stuff out of the way. Well, now that I'm noticing things around the cave, let's see if there's anything more. 
Hmm. Doesn't seem to look like it. I'd say so. Look at this place. Jeez. Oh, you can even see outside out here. I didn't... <laughs> I never knew that. Here's the blood seal. Another of lost vocabulary arts. No ah. doubt triggered by, well, blood. Well, it's in the name. Your blood, Dragonborn. Mine! Look here. You see how the ancient what? blades revered Reman Cyrodiil? Uh, I don't know how this thing has anything to do with what you said, uh, Delphine, but okay. This whole place appears to be a shrine to Reman. He ended the Akaviri invasion under mysterious circumstances, you recall? If you need help drawing some hmm. blood... You're not wrong. Delphine! Shut the fuck up. I can do it. I'm just trying to listen to friggin' Esburn over here. Give me some history lessons. There we go. What? Oh. Oh, those weren't on before. Alright. Hmm. Alright then. Cool beans. Alright. We'll head in here. And. Ta da! The roof looks a bit eh. I mean, it looks cool, but not really designed like it was part of the architecture. And again, I guess that must be what they go for. Hello, Dragon Bane. Oh, excuse me. That's the good sword. Uh, we don't use one handed. Oh. And here's the blade's uh, armor. I don't have a lot of uh, carrying capacity for it. But I think it'll be there uh, next time I come in, as well as these swords. But I don't think I'll actually need them. The armor is kind of all over the place on stats. So, uh, probably not. I probably won't use these. Now let's just wait for them to come in so we can talk about Alduin's Wall. Well, the Dragon Bane. That's a one handed sword, which is why the stats aren't scaled up with what I got. Uh, the enchantment's pretty good, but unfortunately, from what I recall, you cannot pull it off of this sword and put it onto others. So it is pretty much stuck on that sword. Which sucks. It'd be great to be able to put that onto other swords. Oh uh, well. Come on, guys, hurry the hell up. Chop, chop. Come on. There it is. Baldwin's <laughs> wall, so. I've never seen a final example of early second era Kaviri sculpture of relief. Alright. we need information, not a lecture on Yes, yes, let's see what we have. Delphine, it's good to learn about stuff. Shut your mouth. And light the brazier. Look, there we are. Here is Aldrin. This panel goes back to the beginning of time, when Aldrin and the Dragon Cult ruled over Skyrim. Mm -hmm. Here, the humans rebelled against their Dragon Overlord, the legendary Dragon War. Aldrin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. Now, you see, here is fallen from the sky. The mm -hmm. Lord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So oh, I see that. Isn't that one over there, one there, and uh, one there. Patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory and mythic symbolism. Hmm. Yes, yes. This here 
coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes. This is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. Oh. Or at least cripple him. Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to dragons. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all the news of Alduin in turn. Yeah. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. Mm hmm. Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? Not myself personally, but the Greybeards might know. You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. Wah, wah, wah. What do you have against the Greybeards? If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. I wouldn't Think say that. afraid. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? They do have a point. Power can be dangerous. Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes have had to learn to use their power. Those that shrank from their destiny. Well, you've never heard of them, have you? And there are the villains, wrong. those that misused their power. There's always a choice, and there's always a risk. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Like the Greybeards up on their mountain. Yeah, you have a point, too. Alright, I'll see what Angir knows. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Hey. Not likely they'd help Esbern Be or nice. me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Look here, in the third panel. The prophecy which brought the Akaviri to Tamriel in the first place. Mm. In search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive longswords. Now they need their ancient mission fulfilled as the last Dragonborn contends with Alduin at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history. The old Dragonborn. The, I mean, the last one. Oh, yeah. That's the naming convention Bethesda does with their games. I'm the last Dragonborn. Okay. Okay. That's right. Oh, there's an easier way out of here. <laughs> uh, they always do that sort of naming convention with their games, like in New Vegas series. I'm called The Courier. In Fallout 3, I'm The Lone Wanderer. Uh, I don't remember... Uh, the Hero of Kavach was uh, from Oblivion, if I remember right. Then from two it's a chosen one, and from one it's a vault dweller for the Fallout series. And I don't recall the rest of the uh, Elder Scrolls series. Uh, oh, this is a pretty little place here. Look at this. Cool. So in tune with nature. Now I understand. Why the roof is like that. Alright. Um, well. We went through that rather quickly, I think. Um, so, I think we're going to head over to whoop, the Greybeards over here. There we go. It'll let me. There we go. <laughs> Select the damn thing. As a Vampire Lord, the inventory button will bring up the Vampire Lord Perk Tree. Perks are earned by killing enemies with the Drain Life Spell, or with the Bite Attack in melee combat. And there's someone doing something outside. I can't really tell what it is. It sounds like weed whacking. Don't know why they're weed whacking frickin' March, but whatever. Anyway. And inside we go. 
There we go. I'm so close to level 30. It is insane. It's like that magic pixel just keeping me a little bit away from it. There we go. And we talk to Angir now. And he's over here, I assume. It's weird how sometimes he's in specific spots around the uh, High Rothgar. You. Your training proceeds well, Dragonborn. I'd like to say so. But I need to learn the shout used to defeat Alduin. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? It was recorded on Alduin's wall. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? Wow, they really hate each other. God damn. The Blades are helping me. I'm not their puppet. No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. So, can you teach me this shout? No. I cannot teach mm. it to you, because I do not know it. Fuck. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend mm. holds no place within the way of the voice. I thought you knew all the words of power. But not Dragonrend. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Ah. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. So what's so bad about Dragonrend? It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons. And they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. Well, not really, but okay. If the shout is lost, how can I defeat Alduin? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. Well then let me see him. Why haven't I met him yet? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. Ah. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to Explains see him a is a great privilege. Then who is Parthenax? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. Okay. How do we get to the top of the mountain to see him? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Cool. Alright. I just follow these guys. Right at the dough. I'll take this potion. Really? That put me over? Motherfucker. <laughs> okay, let's see what I can drop. Uh, not a lot, apparently. Uh, let's do a quick potion of strength, then, eh? That's not the one I meant to use. But, good enough. Uh, let's see what else I'll be able to pick up in the meantime. I'll take that. Um, hmm. Saber Cat Tooth, I need that. Uh, burr. Where's everything? There's one thing. There's that. Um, hmm. That's all good. Let's grab it. Out to the courtyard. Let's go! Woo! <laughs> now we learn the shout. Come on, guys, I need to learn it. Come on! I'll head over here. They'll just be slow until I get here. 
Ah, it's a big fire. Whoa. Oh, ah, that's messing up on me. Alright. Now we just need to wait for him to come up. The path to Parthenax lies through this gate. Oh. Open the way. Now I see why you said I need a shout. That's a lot of wind. And blow me straight the fuck off. Look. Clear skies. Oh, it's, he's teaching me the whole shout. Clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. All right. Favorite it. There we go. Clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. All right. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. All right. Head up to this. Man, that is a lot of wind. And we, whoop, <laughs> that is a lot. And we will get through it in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. And we can talk about the games we currently are playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games for you.